Hey, what's going on guys? Eddie Harvey here from tradewithad.com. Hey guys, Forex volatility, what is it? Hey, I want to talk about it really quick, hit on it, not going to go into the technical details of it, but in a sense, what uh, Forex volatility boils down to guys, it's all based on uh, price. Uh, the price of the, the currency pair you're currently in and the things that affect it. Uh, it's the movement of the price. So when, when price moves, sometimes price uh, for certain pairs, cause when, on that pair is going to cause the pair to move at a snail's pace, or it might be fast and all over the place. So that's what when you hear when someone says it's extremely volatile, that can mean that's a pair that at one point it could be uh, in a sale, and it could just take off to continue to go short. It could turn around and go long and just boom, move a couple hundred pips. And I've had a pair do that to me before. Uh, and what? makes a pair of volatile is a lot of uh market related things uh news uh different things that affect the price uh, uh a drop in the the currency or whatever a spike it could be something that happened um with with the political aspect in that country that caused the price of that pair to move a certain way so you do have certain pairs guys that do have more volatility than others consistently. Uh, you know, a couple of the pairs, when we look at what is considered probably a very popular pair, the most popular pair I think is the Euro USD, and that is one of the most volatile pairs as well. Uh, you know, another very volatile pair, this pair is just any, a lot of the GBP pairs, like GBP, JPY, GBP, AUD, these are a couple of very volatile pairs, especially GBP, JPY. I've had that pair, man, move, 200 pips on me uh, in a day. Obviously, it, it stopped me out, but it, it didn't turn around. It kept going short. It kept selling, and it dropped down about <clears throat> 200 and some pips, guys, in a span of a few hours. So things happened, whether it could have been the economy with the news. Uh, it could have been um, just a change in, in, the, in the price of the, of the currency. Just different things happened that caused that pair to move like that. But those are some of the very volatile pairs. So if you're looking to say, hey, what pair should I get in on? If you want to see a lot of movement, if you can handle that and looking at the way the market move and you can handle uh, the, vo the volatility of that pair, then that's one thing you can look at. Now, we look at one of the pairs I know that moves very slow is AUD USD. OK, it kind of moves slow, kind of moves at a snail pace. Some people like to trade it because it's not as volatile and, you know, it's a very calm pair. It doesn't doesn't have a lot of spikes and a lot of things that move. So, uh, you know, you trade however you want to trade, but just know you're going to get pairs that are uh, a lot of volatility. Some are not going to have a lot of volatility. And then you're going to get the ones that are in between where it's nice and smooth and it moves, but it's not moving out of control, right? So, uh, you know, different pairs, man, just pairs like USD, CAD, you know, it has volatility, but I don't think, I don't think it gets super duper nutty like uh, uh the euro usd and and um gbp jpy so it just pin, depends on what what also makes this significant is because if a pair is not having any volatility not a lot of movement that's a pair you may want to stay away from depending on what you're trying to do and how you're trying to trade you can go look at the other pairs that are moving and decide to get into a trade on that pair or not so for its volatility so it boils down to guys the movement of the pairs uh, in the market and just talk about a few things that encompasses that pair to move with not a lot of not a lot of movement to it or with a lot of movement to it and a little bit of everything in between. So, guys, hope you got some value from this. Again, I'm not a super duper expert. I just know this is my experience, not experience different things with it. But uh, obviously, if you want to look up volatility in the Forex market, get the technical definition of it. It is out there, but I just gave you a, a layman's term uh, overview of it. So at the end of the day, I hope you all did receive some type of value from what I share, guys. And listen, if you want to get the technical term, if you want to learn more about volatility and all things that encompass Forex with trading it, guys, simply go to tradewithair.com and you'll get access to learning more about a platform that can show you how to trade Forex, guys give you the tools you need, give you the, the leadership, the guidance, everything you need in order to be successful in the Forex markets and also put yourself in position to earn while you're learning what about eight different ways that you can get make money, guys, and you can be as hands-on or as hands-off as possible. 
All right. So go ahead, click the link below or go to tradewithed.com for more information on that. Talk to you guys soon.